Today we're going to change out a cabin air filter on a Ram truck. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today we're going to change out the cabin air filter on my Ram truck. This is a 2014. Uh, this is a 1500, but this should be the same for the 2009 to the 2019. Sometimes towards the end of the production run there, they called it the classic, and there was like two body styles, but you'll know if you've got the classic. And I believe this should be the same for 1500s, 2500s, 3500s. So let's get started. Passenger side here. All right, if you have the upper and the lower glove boxes, you're going to open the lower glove box. And there's like a little string piece here that keeps it from um, closing fast so you just have to push that in it's going to kind of get sucked up in there it's uh, a pain to get it right now but when we reinstall it's not going to be too bad and then what you need to do is on each side the left and the right hand side is push in a little bit here you can see that i don't know if i'll be able to do this with one hand or not but you gotta push it in there push in over there so let me get that drop down Okay, we've got it. Thing's gonna drop all the way down and then it'll come right off. And now, here's the big surprise. If you've never done this before, get you in here, hopefully you can see in here. Right there is where the cabin air filter is supposed to be and there's no door on this thing. So if this is the very first time you've done this, or if you purchased a used vehicle like I did and you don't know, Take these steps before you order anything because if you just order a cabin air filter, you can't change it. You also need to purchase this little door thing here. Now, I saw they sold it at the local auto parts store for about 20, 30 bucks, whatever. I purchased this from uh, this place here. And I think I got the filter and that door for $14. Maybe not the best filter, but now we're set up to do this. So what you need to do is get yourself a utility knife and then get in there and cut around the inside of this. In here, cut the inside of that with the utility knife. I'm gonna get started on that and I'll come back and I'll let you know how this goes. At this point in the video, you know, most people will lie and tell you how easy this was. This was a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> it's very, very difficult to get in there. There's not a lot of room. On this side, I actually unplugged that little plug there to get this corner. It still was hard. And uh, make sure you have a very sharp, maybe brand new utility blade. Because what a pain this is to get that cut out there. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll probably be cursing the cheap engineers who didn't just cut that and install a filter from the factory. I don't know why they do it like this. There is no filter in there. So... Do with that as you may. Now the filter that I got with my kit, just some cheap no-name brand filter. Um, here I have another filter for another vehicle. Usually it's gonna have something like that that says airflow direction. And on the cover here, it shows that the airflow is going down. So if you have a filter that shows the flow, make sure when you install it, you install it. So in this one, it's gonna slide in like that this filter goes that way so we're gonna get this filter installed and we'll put the cover on and to uh, add insult to injury getting that filter in is no piece of cake either because it will not go straight in you have to come in at an angle sorry I put my hand in front of the camera they're trying to show you the angle but that you can't get it in there straight and there's no room up here what a pain this is terrible Anyway, let's see if this cover fits on here. Okay, there's the cover installed. Now here I'm gonna show you right here on this side. Here's that little piece I was telling you about for the glove box door. So I'll try to show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to pull that out and hold it out here like this when we install that glove box door. You also gotta be careful to get all the little all these little um, hinge points down in here correctly but it won't go in there without 
flashlight in there. So let's take that out. Okay, holding with one hand, holding this piece. I already put this in here before I started the camera. So what I should be able to do is, I can't do this while I'm holding the camera, but I should be able to clip this in to the little notch right there and then push these up or maybe push them up and then clip it in. Either way, I can't do it while I'm holding the camera. I didn't bring the tripod over here because I thought this was going to be a very, very easy job. This turned out to be a, um, not as easy as I hoped. And you'll know if you got this in correctly, if when it closes, it's all flush. I messed this up the first time around and didn't have all of the uh, hinge points in the bottom. And there you go. There's that piece clipped in. I did it just like I said. I uh, had enough room. Threw blood on this job. Jesus. <laughs> had enough room to get that clipped and then push the uh, two side pieces in. Easy with two hands, hard with one holding a camera. Well, if you want a what's supposed to be a simple job to be a little bit more frustrating than you expected, then go ahead and do this. Hopefully, if you're purchasing a secondhand vehicle, someone's already done it, or I don't know, maybe like the uh, fancy big horn or Laramie or whatever, maybe comes with that. I don't know. It's very uh, unusual, but check it before you buy a cabin air filter and think you're just going to pop one out and put one in. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. If you're enjoying my content, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.